How you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be working on a 2000 Acura Integra. We're going to be putting the uh, camber kit. So for all of you that have this kind of car, uh, if you relate to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn bells notifications, and keep supporting the channel, okay? All right, then. stay tuned. We're gonna show you how to install the camber kit. Turn it off, Dad. Put it in neutral and turn it off. So, I got this camber kit from eBay. It's the rear control and the front. Uh, adjustable, all right? We paid 40 bucks for the, for the camber kit. So, that's what you're gonna be using. We could have used a better uh, quality of, uh, of camber kits. Some camber kits are like 150, some of them are like 300. But in this particular case, we're using the less expensive one. But um, for what my father in law is gonna be using it for, it's good. A lot of people use this for racing, for pull-ups, for burn rubbing, and we're not gonna use it for that. We're just gonna use it to save the tires because it's been eating the tires a lot. So that's why we just got something that it'll help us save the tires. So that's what that's only that's only way, that's only uh, thing that he's gonna use it for. So if you want some performing parts, and you're trying to race or. Um, do pulls and burnouts and stuff, I recommend you to get something better than that. And with that being said, we're gonna get to it, okay? Rack it up, Dad, you forgot how to do it? Okay, let me... All right, so we're gonna move, I think this one's called a toe arm. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. We got one that's adjustable. We're gonna go ahead and replace it, and you're gonna remove three bolts. They all three, what, 13? 14. 14 millimeter bolts, all right? Those two right there against the wall, and those, those two, and the last one right there. You're gonna need a jack, all right? Put a put a, a, a wood behind, uh, underneath, like a four by four, so you don't mess up the uh, rotor or whatever. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Go ahead. In your, in, in your scenario, you're gonna need uh, two of them. Because, uh, two jacks, because remember, we're using the lift. So. Remember, when you put them back, you gotta put them by hand, okay? Yeah. You can use the gun to just take them out. Dad, you're not even putting the jack underneath it. That's where there's tension on the boat. Oh, okay. You can put the light down, Dad. I got this light right here. Oh. Hold on, Joe, hold on, DSP. Oh, never mind, go ahead. Go ahead, because it's, it's loose down here. Dad, you're not even putting pressure. Yeah, I lost, I lost already. See? You ready? Go ahead. We're using a half inch drive because that's what you're gonna need. If you do it with the smaller one, you're gonna be struggling.
Right. And then you take it out. You remove the old one. All right. And we'll put a new one on, the adjustable one. Put it back how you see it. Don't put it like this. Or how do you want it? Put it like that. All right, guys. So this this uh, yeah, toe arm has to go uh, like that. You guys see it? It can't go. It can only go one way. Bitch. All right? It has to go like that. All right? Match it up. Yeah. Okay. So you take it back a little bit? Yeah. Um, That's you. So you guys you guys see how we have the jack underneath that with your hand? Let them see the jack. Alright. So we can create a, a tension on the okay. on that bolt, on the 14 millimeter bolt. The jack's gonna be your best friend on this installation, so try to put a jack underneath there. Put, 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 yeah. jack down? No, no, not yet that. Oh. You have to all the way uh, bolt it on there. All right, guys, that's how you do the back ones, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to do the front ones in a minute. All right, the first ones you're gonna move is the 14, 214, 217. There's another one in the back over there. And also down here, you're gonna remove the 17. Back here. Right there. 17. And put another uh, wrench on the other side so it'll move. So you'll be able to get it out. 17. Okay. And okay. what are the 10? 12. 12. 12 millimeter bolts right there. Those two of them for the brake line. 17. And the uh, castle nut, what is it? 17. 17 on the castle nut. There's a cotter pin in there. You got to remove the cotter pin. And it's a 17. And that's how you're going to uh, disassemble everything to put the new uh, upper control arm, okay? Good. What number that is? 14? No, isn't 17? That's 17? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it is. Alright, I did that with by hand, but I don't no, think the gun's gonna fit in no, there. The gun's not
Now that one you can hit it with the hammer. So that's how you take it out guys. So now we're gonna remove both of the 14. Dad, turn the light off. All right, guys, don't do the same mistake we did. This way, right? Yeah. With the curve, this way? Yeah. Don't do the same mistake that we did. Always check on the upper control arm. For some reason, there's uh, eBay parts. They don't have right and left. They only have the right on one side. So make sure that you put the right side on the right side and the left side on the left side. I told you that one's the other side. It's the what? Oh, I'm like... Oh. Why is it taking you forever to line it up? It's not taking forever, it's just when you're <laughs> talking. Yeah. This the same thing. Look at it. All scattered out of these. You know, we should pull it down a little bit. That's the one you want. So, so there you have it, guys. All right. Nothing to it. So that's it. That's all you do. Okay. Oh, your CV axles is bad too. Papa Smurf. Huh? The CV axle, boo, look, it broke. What, this one? Yeah, rip. Yeah. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one, okay? Yeah, yeah. peace. This is, this is All right, guys, so to uh, get the alignment perfect on the back, we're gonna have to replace this lower control arm right here because it's too long and it makes the car stick out. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and replace it, all right? And don't be cheap. Get your car aligned after you do the camber kit. If you're watching this channel, please subscribe.